Good morning Aries and welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading where in this video we are going to take a look at your person's current feelings towards you. This is a general love reading and if it resonates with you right now feel free to show your support towards the channel. As always Aries um, Please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't apply, okay? This reading can be good for Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising, Aryan placements. To the cross watchers checking in on an Aries, please take the messages as they best resonate for you. Aries and cross watcher, you may reverse the roles in today's video. And as you can see, Aries, I've already drawn an animal spirit card uh, to represent the overarching energy when it comes to your person's feelings this week. But before we dive on into the reading, I just want to wish you a happy birthday. Happy solar return to each and every one of you Aries out there who are viewing this video today. Let me know if you're celebrating a birthday today. I'm an Aries rising and an interesting Aries season at that because we're currently in a Mercury retrograde and we are in an eclipse portal. So let me know how you're feeling, Aries. Alrighty, so your person's overarching feelings is being represented by the tarantula. Now, the upward pointing triangle here is the alchem alchemical symbol for the element of fire. Your person could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So that could be some strong confirmation for you. I am getting, uh, I am really drawn to the red in the card, um, which is kind of representing as a warning sign for me. So this person feels mad or upset, triggered or angry with you, Aries. That's the overarching energy or the overarching um, feeling this week. Um, I'm kind of getting like this Seven of Wands vibe coming from the Tarantula where this person, like if you were to approach this person, um, they would act very defensive and very reactive towards you. Um, there's like a retaliative, or oh, is that even a word? <laughs> um energy about them you know they want to retaliate they want to justify or I don't know maybe they want to seek a little bit of revenge but the, this person has definitely got their back up when it comes to you okay I feel like whatever you've said or whatever you've done this person has taken it to heart and they've taken it very personally and they're not handling that very well, okay? It almost feels like this person is full of rage or full of anger and it doesn't really surprise me because we are currently in Aries season and the shadow side of Aries can be aggression and anger and that could be you know something that this person is consumed by I want to say right now it's it's almost like they are embodying the shadow side of Aries um So let's find out what this is about because I'm not really understanding at this point why they are feeling this way. So let's get to it, Aries. I am working with the Dreamers Tarot here. So let's find out more. Spirit, why, how, how does this person feel towards Aries? Why are they coming through as the Tarantula? Why are they acting this way or feeling this way towards Aries. Okay, this one wants to come through. Oh, the five of pentacles. Oh, okay. 
this person is feeling as a standalone card this person is feeling left out in the cold or rejected by you abandoned by you they feel like you have abandoned them okay right it makes so much more sense this person is wounded this person is triggered this person is really upset like you have I'm getting someone who is really triggered right now. Mm. This person could be dealing with like Chiron in the first house. If you understand astrology, um, there could be stuff playing out here. Okay, the world is here. Okay, that's what it is. Perhaps you've shut the door on this person. For some of you, I'm getting, oh my goodness, this is very, very specific, but I'm seeing a door slammed shut in someone's face. Or well, that's, that's what spirit is showing me. Or that's what this person's higher self is showing me. because it almost feels like that it's like a personal attack and it I actually feel like with the world card here that this person would like to start up a new cycle here with you um, because the world does represent endings an ending of a cycle so you may have ended the relationship or ended the connection but okay the queen of cups water energy cancer scorpio pisces look the the reason why this person is really upset aries is because this person has very strong feelings for you very strong feelings Look at the Queen of Cups in this deck. She's looking at her chalice in a very loving, doting way. This person loves you. This person has very deep, strong feelings for you. This person's feelings or their love for you goes very deep, Aries. So if you ended things here with them, um, it's almost like you've cut their arm off. It feels like you've cut their arm off. Uh, It's like their world has fallen apart or their world is crumbling here. Mm. Yeah, what's really interesting is I'm noticing a ship in the background. There's a ship in the background. My eyes have gone to this ship in the background, which kind of reminds me of the ship in the Three of Wands. So it's almost like this person, even though they feel angry with you or upset with you that you have abandoned them or rejected them, there is a side to the Queen of Cups that is longing, this person is longing for you to return. Because the Queen of Cups, she's, she's water. She's a water energy, so she's very imaginative. She's of this world, but not of this world, if you know what I mean. So there can be something very unrealistic about where her mind goes sometimes. Um, 
Um, let's break it down, shall we? Let's get some clarification around this. Okay. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups, Spirit. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups in this person's feelings towards Aries. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups. Tell me more. Tell me more. How does this person feel towards Aries? Tell me more. Okay, the devil. Look at that. Uh, could be connecting to a Capricorn. This person is stuck on you. So I feel like this person is... Um, like they, they can't let you go. So you may have let them go. You may have detached. But they haven't. This person is still emotionally stuck on you. They haven't let you go emotionally. There's, an, there's definitely an emotional attachment here on this person's end. Mm. I, I would say that this person has an unhealthy emotional attachment to you or an unhealthy attachment to you. They have a lot of love for you here, but it can almost maybe feel smothering or suffocating Aries. So let, you know, hit that thumb button if that resonates for you. If you feel like this person is just too smothering or too much for you sometimes. Because mm, the Queen of Cups can be like that, right? Aries is very independent and autonomous and the Queen of Cups is, she's, she's the, the mother of the Zodiac. She wants to mother and nurture and care. But sometimes when it's coming in with the devil, it's smothering. It's suffocating. It's controlling. And this person may not even realize they're being that way. Mm. This person cannot see their own flaws. They just, they cannot see their own um, toxic ways or their own toxic patterns here. It's almost like they feel like they love you more than you love them. <laughs> that, that's what it feels like, Aries. Um, all right, let's, why don't we take a look at your feelings then very quickly. Spirit, how does Aries feel towards this person? I'll use the same deck. How does Aries feel towards this person? Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is here. Hmm. Spirit, tell me more. Tell me more. How does Aries feel towards this person? The Ace of Cups. Okay, Spirit Angels and Guides, how does Aries feel towards this person? The Six of Cups, that's interesting. Mm, that's very interesting. I can see that very clearly, Aries. So, with the Six of Cups, I can see here that you do care about this person. You do care about them. But uh, regardless of your feelings for this person, 
um, your endearment towards this person. You, in this situation, have to put yourself first. The Ace of Cups is the self. So regardless of your feelings towards them, yes, with the Six of Cups, you share history with this person. And with the Six of Cups, you may even be you may even be missing this person because sometimes the Six of Cups can speak to, you know, nostalgia. It's when we're feeling reflective and we're going back in the past and um, you could be thinking of or remembering, rather, remembering the better times that you guys shared together with one another. Um, But the Ace of Cups is showing me here, Aries, regardless of the history that you share with this person, you have to put yourself first, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups speaks to self-care, self-love. I just want to clarify this Knight of Swords, though. The Knight of Swords is swift action. It's decisive action. It's impulsive action. It's, I've made a decision to put me first. So I just quickly want to clarify it though. Tell me more about this Knight of Swords. Tell me more. Um, maybe with the Knight of Swords, I'm seeing a little bit of frustration here. So maybe you got very frustrated towards this person and you said things like you said things um, out of frustration that maybe came across quite blunt or quite uh, direct or assertive and this person took it the wrong way. Okay, because I am seeing someone who is upset and, and triggered here. Um, I'm just going to clarify. What have we got here? Yeah, the, the Ten of Wands is here. Yeah. See, that's what I mean. Um, Yeah, to me, the Ten of Wands is, um, it's stressful. You know, it, it got all too much. I feel like you were just, it was building up. This, this was building up, like the frustration, the tension. Um, it was building up here and then you decided enough was enough. I've got to put myself first, Ace of Cups. Mm. Let me just look at this Ace of Cups. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups. The Nine of Cups. Yeah. See what I mean, um, Aries? Like the Nine of Cups, to me, it's about your happiness. You have... You have to consider what makes you happy right now. And this is what makes you happy. Maybe to separate yourself and to put yourself first and to do what is best for you. Now, I do have to say that for a small portion of you Arians, this Ace of Cups can speak to a new beginning. So some of you may want a new beginning with this person. Because the Nine of Cups can speak to a wish fulfillment. So some of you may feel like, mm, I do desire to, you know, reconnect with my beloved. I am missing them. Hmm. 
So I see that too, Aries. All right, let's see what your person will do. Let's see what action they will take towards you. Spirit, what action will this person take towards Aries? The High Priestess is here. Spirit, angels and guides, what action will this person take towards Aries? <laughs> There's the Seven of Wands, right? There is the Seven of Wands. Um, tell me more. Tell me more. What action will this person take towards Aries? The Four of Cups. Hmm. What's at the bottom? The Ace of Swords. Okay. Oh dear. Um, look. There is an opportunity for this person to perhaps reach out to you and initiate a conversation. Um, you know, with the Ace of Swords and the Four of Cups, there is an opportunity. I mean, if this person wanted to take the opportunity to reach out to you, they could. But I don't feel like they're going to take that opportunity to reach out to you. I feel like it's because they are still very much wounded. Okay, they are very upset here with the Four of Cups. And as you can see, the woman in the Four of Cups, she's, she's leaning against a tree. Her arms are crossed over her chest. She's trying to compose herself emotionally. So whoever you're dealing with, male or female, this person is trying to gather the emotional strength to, um, yeah, they're trying to gather the emotional strength because they are so upset. They are so wounded. So... I'm not feeling like this person is going to reach out to you. Especially with the Seven of Wands here. You know, you can see a woman here. She's got all these wands surrounding her, sort of like a, a boundary. So this person is still feeling rather tender and defensive. So I do see uh, some healing here happening for this person. I'm going to clarify. Like if you were, I feel like if you were to reach out to this person, um, they may give you a little bit of the cold shoulder here or they may just snap at you. Um, I, I am getting that. But with the high priestess energy here, their intuition is telling them to pull back, stay back. Okay. Um, mm. Let me just clarify some of these cards. Tell me more about this Seven of Wands spirit. The Wheel of Fortune. I don't feel like this person is, yeah, like I said, Aries, this person is still feeling very tender and sensitive. I feel like there's some healing that this person is doing right now especially with the High Priestess touching the Seven of Wands. Okay. So I feel like they are being guided by their higher self right now to do maybe some spiritual work, to maybe look at this situation and see what they can gain from this experience, even for themselves, right? 
but I don't feel with the Wheel of Fortune that this person will stay um, in this defensive energy for very long. Okay. And that's what I really love about the Seven of Wands because it's not the Nine of Wands. This person hasn't drawn the line in the sand. You know, it's not a strong boundary, but it's like, hey, back up. I'm really upset with you right now. Don't come close. Um, but it's also like, um, how else can I put it, Aries? I don't know how else to put it. But this person still desires you and... Like, even though they're upset with you, they still desire you. They still long for you. Does that make sense? Like, you haven't pushed them completely away because the devil is here and the queen of cups is here. This person still longs for you to return. So even if you were to return and they might bark or bite or whatever, they they still want you to kind of show them that you love them or that you care about them. They're just upset because they are feeling rejected by you. And I am seeing a sulking energy here. Tell me more about the Four of Cups. It's almost like they want you to return so they can reject you, so they can make you feel what they feel. That's what it almost feels like. And with the Ace of Swords here, um, it's that would be like victory for them. That would be like something that they, it's like a double-edged sword, you know, for this person. They don't want to behave that way or treat you in that way, but um, they want you to know what that pain feels like. Tell me more about this Four of Cups. Tell me more about this Four of Cups. Tell me more about this Four of Cups. Yeah, they want you to return. It's almost like they want you to return. They want you to give them attention. Um, they want you to chase them in, in a way or to pursue them in a way so they can give you the cold shoulder just so you can get a taste of your own medicine. Now, please only take what resonates, Aries. Please only take what resonates because this is not going to speak to every single Arian out there. I understand that. It's not a personal reading. It's a general reading on YouTube. <clears throat> Let's see how you're going to respond to this. Let's take a look at the outcome, possible outcome, how Aries is going to respond to this. Spirit, tell us more. Tell us more. Tell us more. Okay. Queen of Pentacles is here. Spirit angels and guides, how is Aries going to respond to this? Oh, what have we got here? I saw a card flipped upside down. Spirit angels and guides, how is Aries going to respond to this situation? The star. Oh, okay. Let's have a look. What have we got here? The Wheel of Fortune. The Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Hmm. 
I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles, it's kind of like you're looking at the situation and you're looking at, you know, what's practical. And it's, it's not practical for you to return. It's not practical for you to, like, it doesn't make sense for you to return right now. The star card is here. You're being guided to do some maybe healing work. Um, you're being guided to go down a different path right now. I don't feel like you're being guided to return or to go towards this person. With the Wheel of Fortune here, I feel like you're changing. You're changing. You know, the Wheel of Fortune is going around. You're changing here and it's touching the Nine of Pentacles. Which is kind of saying here, you're best off, you're best off being um, alone or you're best off being on your own right now. Hmm. Because it doesn't make practical sense or it doesn't make sense for you to return to this person. So let's clarify. Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles and the Star card. Yeah, the King of Wands is here. The King of Wands is here. Not only is it not practical to return, but the King of Wands for me is, it's a sign of disrespect. So you would kind of be lowering yourself or disrespecting yourself if you were to return to this person. So I do see the King of Wands as firm and fixed in your decision to maybe retreat and... Um, distance yourself with the star card and go down a different path okay let's have a look at the wheel of fortune and the nine of pentacles what's the wheel of fortune and the nine of pentacles tell me more the lovers mm. So you could be connecting to a Gemini here. You do have a strong, a very strong bond or a strong connection to this person. And you have felt with the Wheel of Fortune um, almost like you've gone through many ups and downs in this connection. I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm seeing spirit showing me like a roller coaster. Mm. But I'm still hearing it is best for you to be single or it is best for you to stay separate or be on your own right now regardless of your attraction towards this person regardless of uh, the intensity that you feel within the connection the lovers represents a choice aries and i feel like within this connection you're choosing you you're choosing yourself Mm. And I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, you've also evolved 
or you're, you're evolving past this relationship, you're evolving past this connection. It's almost like with the Nine of Pentacles here, you're saying to me, Rosa, I'm, I'm better off on my own. I can stand on my own two feet. You know, I feel better um, when I am separate from this person. Because look at all the sunflowers. The sunflowers in this card make me feel very good and positive. So you feel so much more maybe uplifted uplifted confident and positive when you're away with when you're away from this person when you're with this person maybe they drag you down or they bring out a negative side in you or they bring out the worst in you and you don't like that but you have evolved past this person I feel Aries So that's where I'm going to leave the reading. Um, let me know in the comment section below how it best resonated for you. And happy birthday, Aries. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.